All right, guys, we're back with top four Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Nate on the left playing Diva Hero Zombies versus Bluff Knock, a.k.a. Prince on the right, playing Cat Deck. So Nate was undefeated. This was a 29-man local, second largest ever on the channel. And Prince snuck in at fourth. So we'll see if the, if the four seed can knock out, knock out the one seed. So Bluff Knock goes first, set a monster, set a back row. Here comes a lure from Nate. So it's a little different angle because I was using my different tripod. Anyway, he draws Miracle off the allure. And what will he banish? Uh, both these guys are regulars on the channel. Bluff Knock's got one win, a few second places. Prince, sorry, uh, Nate's got, I believe, three second places. So he's still trying to get his first win. Prince is going for the second. So here comes Goblin Zombie from Nate. Attacks. Oh, it's Ryko, not Spy. That's pretty good. So he's going to mill, what, uh, Wolverine. I said Wolverine. Air Bell. <laughs> okay, he's going to. I'm thinking about the new Deadpool movie that's coming out. <laughs> okay, so he searches Plague off the Goblin. Yeah, I'm not using my normal tripod, so the angle is just way different. So yeah, it's just much harder to fit everything in the screen. Like you kind of can't see the grave, Nate's grave that well. But okay, yeah, someone moved it. Appreciate it, whoever that was. Yeah, you can see I'll see the glare. Oh, he lured the dark arm. What? <laughs> I mean, this deck's got so many bombs. It's got dark arm, triple miracle, probably. So here comes Arabellum trying to snipe a card out of his hand, and here comes Regeki Break. He pitches the play that we know he searched. Ooh, call. So he is going to get a card out of uh, Nate's hand. So there's 64 to 8K. And let's see, what does he snipe? He snipes the Torrential. So the rest of his hand, is, his Miracle's dead. So he's got, I think, Miracle Brain and another card. T Turtle. And Diva. He just drew Diva. But Miracle is still dead. So that, that's one thing I figured with this deck. It's like, I feel like it's very powerful, but comparing it to Diva Zombies, it's, I just think they draw dead miracles, which a lot of decks do. Diva Hero Beat draws dead miracles. Frog Heroes draw dead miracles. The only deck that doesn't draw dead miracles is like the pure Diva Hero deck. So here he pokes him with his own Air Bellum. He can't drop Gores because of his own call, so he's going to hit his, ooh, his own brain. Hits him for 12. So Nate could have also rammed his his uh, turtle, got a goblin, and then brain. But this way, you don't get a card out of his hand. That's like the only issue. So we'd rather get a goblin search or a card out of his hand is the is the question. So here comes Charge, Mills, Avarice, uh, Air Bellum, and Kai. Is he out of Air Bellums? I think he's out. Searches Ryko. He's got two cards in his hand. So yeah, Bluff Knock was cooking with his deck. He took me out. You guys saw it on the on round three. Knocked me out of the tournament. Knocked the sheriff Los out. Round the, actually on the bubble. The last round, last round of Swiss knocked out the sheriff. So yeah, this deck. I feel cat decks are just solid. I think I put them in like B tier on my tier list. Yeah, B tier. So here comes Strato. So now his miracle is live. But maybe you want to get rid of the Ryko first before you play the miracle. Okay, 56, 52. So what do you do if you're Nate? Do you just attack him with, with Black Rose and then hit him with Stratos? And he searches Evil Hero Prodigy. Yeah, that's that's my guess. Hit. Pops the Black Rose, mills Gores, Caius. That's good. At least you milled the dead Gores because that call haunted since he synchro is going to be up there for the rest of the game. Unless you heavy it or MST yourself. So now Bluff Knock sets one and passes. Oh, he's got Diva. This is probably a game of... Bluff Knock doesn't have anything. Yeah, this looks like game. Diva, Stratos, Miracle. And yeah, he just screwed. Oh, his trap's done. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> oh, man. So Nate takes a quick game one. We see eventually tops into the Stratos. That really helped. So Nate, one win away from getting back to the finals. He actually made the finals the recently. Like the week before this, he lost in the finals to Ryan Eye's Blackwing deck. Here comes a lure from Nate. So Bluff Knock with just a set monster and passed. Probably a spy. He also is running hamster. I saw, saw it in his deck when we played. So what will Nate allure away? 
Looks like a Caius. And are you reading another Ryko? But this time it's Spy. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. I, I ran into a Spy as well when I played Nate, uh, Prince, a.k.a. Bluff Knock. I'm not used to calling him Bluff Knock. But I know that's what a lot of people know him as. Ooh, he cited in Chalice. Okay, this is good. So now uh, Nate has to be wary of setting back rows because Bluff Knock's going to snipe one of them with Descendant. And he passed. Yeah, he doesn't send anything because he doesn't want, probably doesn't want his back rows to get sniped. Come on, Caius. <laughs> there, there's the Caius. Oh, no, he popped it. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, he pops the, oh, Airbellum. 16, so it snipes a card out of, what if you hit a zombie monster? <laughs> Let's see. Once it hits the middle, which is, oh, I couldn't see what it was. It's like right on the angle. And, yeah, I mean, at this point, he doesn't have gores. He's got Miracle, Crow, and, like, a few other spells. Yeah, Miracle, Crow. Did you go for Arcanite and Defense Mode? Yeah, you just need a non-tuner Spellcaster, right? Maybe Arcanite Defense, depending on what else you have. That's what I think he's going to do. Or attack mode, right? Does it have higher attacker? I think it has higher defense, right? So Arcanite pass. So one thing I noticed about uh, Prince's deck is he he doesn't really play much defense. It's mostly like trap stuns and heavy and true nade, all that stuff. So Greffer pitched Caius. I believe the other monster he pitched was Mazook. Oh, he sends Mally. Oh, yeah, he's exploding now. Can you get a water monster? If that's Plague, then that turns on Miracle. I think he did, He hit Plague off of the Air Bellum. It looks like a Plague Spreader from the corner of, of, the, of the mat. Yes, it was Plague. Okay, so he banishes Mizuki for Plague. So he synchros with the Mali, and he could still use Plague again. But is there a way for him to turn on the Miracle? Because let's say... He would have to fuse with his on-field. Yeah, he would have to fuse with his on-field. Okay, it's not game, so. He just hits him with Stardust for, uh, what, 100? Yeah, 100. And then hits over the... Attacks him directly with Greffer. No gores from Bluff Knock. And passes. All he has is Stardust and Greffer. Yeah, see, he's got, like, double Air Bellum, Raiko, like a heavy, I think. And he, he drew the Mirror Force, but staring down Stardust is not good. And I believe Nate has his own Heavy Storm, I think. So, Bluff Knock with the set. Set. And passes. Yep, he has Heavy. So, if he draws D.Va, <laughs> that's GG if he draws D.Va. We'll see if he has it. Heavy. <laughs> Hits the mirror for Yeah, Bluff Knight can tell. He's ups his hand sucks, so it's not looking good. So does he force him to negate? Nah, I think he just choose to mill there. It doesn't change anything, right? Or maybe he doesn't want to mill. Alright, one back row from Nate. Stardust comes back. And yeah, I think just his hand is terrible. He can't deal with this field with his like Double air bellum in hand. <laughs> and that's the risk with Cat. You have to play a lot of bad cards to make it good. And here's going to come the Crow. Yep, the Crow on what? The Descendant? I think that's the pick. That way you're, you don't have to worry about Spy anymore. Like Spy doesn't really do much. And he just passes. I think you got to set a monster. I think he just doesn't care. He's like, this is this is over. And Diva is game. Does he have the gores? Hopefully he has the gores. If not, this is game. Can he kill him? No, I don't think he can kill him through gores. I'm trying to see what he could do. Let's 
So he goes Goyo, attack for 25, and here comes the Gores. Oh, the Fader. Forgot about. I forgot he does play that card. He got me with Fader as well. Oh, he just. Oh, he sets the right go. He just concedes. Yeah, his hand's bad. So Nate is moving on to another finals. Bluff knock drew terrible that game. Hope you guys enjoyed that match. And we out. We'll be back soon for the. Oh, actually, we got one more top four match than the finals. All right. Bye, guys.